What's up Gadgeteers? Welcome back to Gadget Beer. Today we have an update video on my life with my Google Pixel devices. I'm currently rocking my Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold along with the Pixel Watch 3 and the Pixel Buds Pro 2s. So Android 15 came out like last week or so. So I've been rocking Android 15 on the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. The current setup right now for this device is the later case with the later case ring and the later case screen protector. It's looking very nice. I also have the Spigen lens protector there that worked just perfect with this case. The only thing that I don't like about this case is that you have to add this ring for MagSafe. I wish they would just do like the other OEMs and integrate it right into the case. But besides that, this case is looking fantastic. I do have a little bit of hinge protection there. I did get like a hinge protection sticker that kind of makes it look a little bit matte. It just does away with greasy fingerprints a lot better than just having the hinge exposed and protects it from minor scratches. But I do not recommend you get it. I bought it on Amazon. I bought like, it's like $20. You get like two hinge protections, two inner display screen protectors and the cover display screen protectors and a lens protector. But the rest is all crap. So for $20, if you absolutely want uh, the hinge protection, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll send you the link so you can pick it up. But I don't recommend it unless you absolutely want hinge protection. So far, my experience though with Android 15 on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold has been fantastic. I have ran into some minor issues. I don't think it's the phone itself. Uh, I, I can't identify if it's a phone or my earbuds. So when I first connected my earbuds to the Android, uh, my Pixel, after the update, I got this constant ringing or beeping, like do 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 It kept on going. It never shut off. Even when I took the earbuds off, put them in the case, the sound has just started playing on the device. I had to reboot the device. And, and uh, after that, it went away. It's happened like once or twice, but hasn't happened lately. So I don't know if it was a bug or it was just like some little hiccup that happened and it hasn't, it hasn't came back or if it's going to come back. But if you dealt with anything like that, let me know down in the comment section below so we can get to the bottom of this and report it as a bug. The next thing, the watch. The watch, this beautiful watch right here I'm rocking is... Look at that watch face though. I do have a screen protector from Spigen and I am ro rocking their rugged case slash band, which is absolutely fantastic. I sleep with this thing because I want it to track my sleeping. And with that sleeping and wearing it throughout the day, it will last you, let me tell you, all day, all day. I think like I charge it now once a day just to make sure that I'm topped off before I go to sleep. But by the time I put it on the charger, I it's like at 60%, which is fantastic with tracking sleeping and wearing it all day. And and with that being said, it only charges for 10 minutes. And then when it hits 100%, it sends an alert to my device, to my Pixel 9 Pro Fold saying that my watch is 100% charged. Go take it off the charger, put it back on and uh, do my thing and go to sleep and it tracks my sleeping and all that. Battery life on this is fantastic. My experience with this has been nice. It's lasted all day. I, I don't worry about it dying no more or anything like that. But I do have a bug with this. I don't have the latest update yet. It's still on the September security update. And I do catch the watch rebooting itself a lot. Now, I at first I thought it might have done it might have been because of my watch face, but I started rocking one of the original Google face uh, watch faces that that's native to the watch and it was doing the same thing. Every so often when I go to check, the watch is off, I click the Chrome button and it reboots itself. So something's going on there, I know it's a bug. I'm waiting for the new update to hit my, my watch. Once the new update hits my watch, I'll come back and give you guys an update to see if that is if the rebooting is still happening currently with the Pixel Watch 3. If you guys are 
seen anything like that, let us know down in the comment section below so we can get to the bottom of this and report it to Google as a bug. But besides the constant rebooting, now it doesn't happen like multi -time, multiple times a day. It's like two or three times during a week, It's w w which happens. And I, and it happens when I'm like, oh, uh, what time it is? And I'm like, what the hell? What the fuck? There's like nothing going on there. And then I hit the crown button and it reboots itself. You see the little G logo and then the little starting up uh, boot animation. But besides that, so far it's been great. Like I said, uh, I am rocking the Pixel Bud Pro 2s, the, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, and the watch on a daily basis. And experience so far has been great. But if you're not having a great experience, I want to know down in the comment section below if you're dealing with any bugs or anything that I didn't mention, or maybe I'm not dealing with it, but you are and want to put it out there, let us know in the comment section below so we can get a, to the bottom of those uh, issues you're dealing with and we can report them so they can get corrected in future updates. But besides that, like I said, Pixel update for the about a week has been fantastic. Uh, besides those two bugs that I just mentioned uh, or issues or minor gripes, whatever you want to call it. Uh, other news besides Pixel news, I know, I know, you're only here because of the Pixel device. Nope. So, big news. Android 13, the hardware. Android, big news. Android 13. Look at me, look at me. OnePlus 13 has been leaked. The hardware it's looking almighty and premium with the flat edges and flat display. So basically, it's it's going in route of the other OEMs, just like the Google, Samsung, and iPhones. So it's going towards that more premium, flat edge, flat display looking hardware, which can you blame them? No, you can't because the Pixel 9 was the highest Pixel series phone ever sold probably because of the design of the hardware. So we do have also Android 15 OS, Oxygen OS or Color OS, depending on what country you live in. We do have a beta version rollout timeline. So for those who want to get early on Android 15 on your OnePlus devices, starting October 30th, you'll be able to enroll into the beta for your OnePlus 12s, OnePlus 12R, and OnePlus 12R Genji Impact. And starting November, the OnePlus Open, this bad boy right here, boom, 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 and the OnePlus Pad 2 will be able to roll into that beta, which I will be because I'm interested to see what new OS features uh, OnePlus has for the foldable device and can it dethrone the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold from my hand because I love that device. And from December, you can update your OnePlus 11 devices. In January, your OnePlus 10 devices. And in February of next year, your OnePlus 10R devices. So they do have a timeline for the beta. It is not the official release of Oxygen 15 or OS 15 or Android 15 for your OnePlus devices. But you want to get in early and experience what it's like to be on Android 15, make sure you enrolled to their beta program. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That is it for this week. If you guys have any ideas or anything you guys want me to do, anything particular, particular in regards to the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, if you guys want me to try something out or not or, or, or put it against other devices, let me know. I might do it for you. Oh, I am trying out this new launcher that let's just say lets you have two phones in one. Think about it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you're not new to the channel, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.